So if you're experiencing pain on your low back, backside of one hip, and down the back of the leg, that's typically what we refer to as sciatica. And that can come from either compression of the nerves in your low back or more commonly compression of the sciatic nerve in the back of your hip. So I'm going to show you some things you need to do to relieve that pain and annoyance that you're feeling. So the first thing you want to do is massage out that hip. You can take a ball or a foam roller and you can either lay on the floor and put your weight on that painful side and roll around nice and slow. You don't want to roll too fast because that can irritate the muscles in that area and make that nerve pain a little worse. So you want to find a, a point and just kind of come off and on of it as you massage here. You can also do this in standing against a wall. So if I'm going to massage my hip with the ball on the wall, I'm going to put the ball between the wall and my hip and kind of rock side to side finding any points that are a little tender and going nice and slow within tolerance of those points. Okay, and you wanna spend about one to two minutes massaging out that area. Next is to stretch out that muscle. So you can do it a couple different ways. The first way is sitting on the floor, crossing your leg over the other leg and then sitting up nice and tall. You don't want to slump forward like so, and you should feel the stretch through the back of the hip there. You may also do this supporting your leg on a ball. And then you are actively keeping that ball kind of pulled towards you and then slightly pushing this knee away. And again, I'm feeling the stretch in that same area. This just allows my core to be a little bit more active and supporting of my back. The other option for a stretch is seated in a chair. And again, you wanna sit up nice and tall, keeping your core active, crossing your affected leg over the other, sitting up tall. If you already feel the stretch on that back of the hip, you can stay there. And if you need a little bit more, you can lean forward, pressing down on this knee. And again, I'm going to hold this for 30 seconds to one minute, two times through. A couple other areas that you want to stretch are your hamstrings and your calves, making sure that the whole posterior chain is moving as well as it can. So you want to stretch your hamstrings, you can do in standing. So I'm going to put my affected leg slightly in front. I'm going to lean forward kind of sticking my butt back behind me and feeling the stretch here. And I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds to one minute. And I'm gonna do that two times through. Now you can also do that supported uh, if you are lacking a little bit of flexibility. The other stretch is a calf stretch. So you want something that you can put your foot on. I have a half foam roller here, but you could do the wall. I'm gonna put my foot on here and then step through and then squeezing the back of my glutes here to feel the stretch down in my calf. And again, just like all the other stretches, I'm holding for 30 seconds to one minute. Because this is a nerve that's getting irritated and not moving well, we want to also make sure that we're gliding the nervous system. So you want to have Something to support your foot on. We're gonna place the affected leg on the chair, starting up nice and tall, and then you're gonna lean forward, pointing your toes away from you, and then come up, bring your toes towards you. You're gonna do this about 10 times. You can also do this on the ground. So you're going to lay back, bring your knee up to your chest, bring your foot up to the sky, 
point and flex your foot there. You should feel the stretch all the way through. This is a little bit more aggressive than the chair one since I'm holding my leg steady and just moving through my foot. So I'm gonna do about 10 to 15 pumps here. So now I'm gonna go into some strengthening to help support the muscles around that irritated nerve. Again, strengthening the muscles is gonna help take the pressure off of that nerve that's getting irritated. The first one I'm gonna do is a bridge and this is gonna help just work all the glute muscles together. So you're gonna lay back, put your hips or your feet hip distance, and then you're gonna squeeze your core down, squeeze your glutes and lift your hips. Hold for a few seconds and then come back down, relax, squeeze and lift. And you're gonna perform 15 repetitions of this. Make sure you're not holding your breath as you lift and lower. You should just be breathing nice and easy and naturally. The next exercise is gonna be sideline hip abduction with your foot in internal rotation to give the back of the hip muscles a little bit of stretch while you're performing this. So you're gonna lay on your side and I'm gonna be against a wall just to give my body some cueing of where I should be so I don't roll too far forward. I'm gonna have my hip and leg against the wall. I'm gonna turn my toes down. I'm gonna lift my leg up, making sure I don't bend through my waist, everything is through the hip, and I come back down. I wanna try to stay as smooth on the wall as I can. And again, you're gonna perform 15 of these. Again, not holding my breath, breathing nice and naturally. And that's your sciatica routine.